From a man who played God to a cowboy heartthrob, here are some of Hollywood's oldest working actors. Number 10. Morgan Freeman Morgan Freeman was born on June 1, 1937 in Memphis, Tennessee, and is 82 years old. He started his career as a dancer at the 1964 World's Fair and became a member of the San Francisco-based musical theater group Opera Ring. He didn't gain much recognition in the United States until playing Dr. Roy Bingham in the soap opera Another World in 1983. Freeman considers his breakthrough role to have been in 1987's Street Smart, in which he played Fast Black. But nowadays, he's mostly recognized for films like Driving Miss Daisy, Invictus, and Million Dollar Baby, for which he won an Academy Award. And we can't overlook Morgan Freeman portraying God himself in the 2003 film Bruce Almighty. This actor still actively works in Hollywood in movies like The Nutcracker and the Four Realms and The Poison Rose. Number 9. George Takei Although this celeb is most well-known for playing Sulu in the 1960s Star Trek series, he's still working hard today. He was born on April 20, 1937, and is 82 years old. When he was about five, George and his family were forced to take shelter in converted horse stables in Santa Anita Park, and they were later sent to an Arkansas relocation center where thousands of Japanese Americans were held by force during World War II. After the conflict ended, he and his family went back to L.A., where he attended school. After graduation, he was accepted to the University of California, Berkeley, and majored in architecture. Takei transferred to the University of California, Los Angeles, and earned his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1960. He then got his Master of Arts four years later. Most recently, Takei has worked on movies like 2017's Yama Song, March of the Hollows, and the 2019 TV series The Terror. Number 8. Robert Redford Robert Redford was born on August 18, 1936, and is currently 83 years old. He began acting in New York City on the Broadway stage in 1959. He debuted in The Tall Story and took small roles in other plays as well. In 1960, he made his film debut, coincidentally, in the movie Tall Story. Redford has been in several big screen hits over the years, including The Great Gatsby, Out of Africa, and Spy Game. He's also a director and producer and won the 1981 Oscar for Best Director for the film Ordinary People. Most recently, Redford acted in 2018's The Old Man and the Gun as Forrest Tucker, was the narrator's voice in Buttons the same year, and played Alexander Pierce in 2019's Avengers Endgame. Number 7. Alan Alda This actor was born on January 28, 1936, making him 84 years old. His full name is Alfonso Joseph D'Abruzzo, and he's originally from New York City. When he was a kid, he traveled with his parents throughout the United States because his father performed in burlesque theaters. Alda started acting in the 1950s in the improv comedy group called The Compass Players. He also performed on Broadway in The Owl and the Pussycat, for which he received a Tony Award nomination. Alda gained a lot of recognition when he was chosen to play Hawkeye Pierce in the television adaptation of M.A.S.H. He got 21 Emmy nominations and five wins for the role. Alda is also known for Everyone Says I Love You, The Four Seasons, and Crimes and Misdemeanors. Although this star was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2015, He's still powering forward. He recently played Solomon Waltzer in The Good Fight and Dr. Arthur Amiot in Ray Donovan. Number 6. Donald Sutherland From 1970s MASH to the Hunger Games franchise, Donald Sutherland has been in the business for decades, and he isn't stopping anytime soon. He is 84 years old and was born on July 17, 1935 in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. You probably wouldn't guess it now, but this star had a lot of health issues as a child. He suffered hepatitis, rheumatic fever, and polio, an infection that results in muscle weakness. Luckily, Sutherland overcame all of these medical problems and is still going strong today. Starting in the 1960s, he began getting insignificant roles in British television and movies. It wasn't until he played Vernon L. Pinkley in The Dirty Dozen in 1967 that he gained significant recognition. 
The movie was MGM's highest grossing, as well as the fifth highest grossing film of all that year. Sutherland went on to win two Golden Globes for the 1995 made-for-TV movie Citizen X and the 2002 made-for-TV film Path to War. You probably know of at least one of Sutherland's children as well, Kiefer, who was most widely known for the television action show 24. Donald has four other kids, including Rachel, Kiefer's twin. This actor is still working in movies like 2019's American Hangman. Number 5. Michael Caine Born on March 14, 1933 as Maurice Joseph Micklewhite Jr., this actor is 87 years old today. He was born in London, England, and later won a scholarship to Hackney Down School before transferring to Wilson's Grammar School in Camberwell. He left the education system at 16 years old after receiving six school certificates in different subjects. Kane also served in the British Army in the Royal Fusiliers from 1952 to 1954 and was on active duty during the Korean War. During this time in Korea, he dealt with a situation in which he didn't think he would make it out alive. He noted later on that he lived every moment to the fullest because of that experience. Kane began acting in 1953 in a stage production of Wuthering Heights, but he broke into the film industry in the 1956 feature A Hill in Korea. A couple of this star's most popular films are The Prestige and The Quiet American. He's also a proud owner of two Oscars for The Cider House Rules and Hannah and Her Sisters. Kane is still working today in movies like Now You See Me Too, Dear Dictator, and The King of Thieves. Number 4. James Earl Jones This actor is 89 years old and was born on January 17, 1931. When he was just five, he moved in with his mother's parents and was raised in Jackson, Michigan on the couple's farm. He was traumatized from the transition of moving and developed a severe stutter. Even after a teacher helped him overcome it, Jones refused to speak for eight years until starting high school. He said later on that Donald Crouch, his English teacher, helped him overcome his silence after discovering Jones's gift for writing poetry. Jones later attended the University of Michigan as a pre-med major and joined the Reserve Officer Training Corps as well. After realizing the medical field wasn't for him, he focused on theater at the university's School of Music. He began acting in 1953 at the Manistee Michigan Ramsdale Theater during his military days. Jones portrayed Othello for the first time in 1955. Later on, he earned two Tony Awards for The Great White Hope and Fences. But Jones is perhaps best known for being the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, and 2016's Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Plus, who could forget his voice as Mufasa in The Lion King? Jones recently voiced the profound lion again in Disney's 2019 remake. Number 3. Clint Eastwood Still charming and once quite a looker, Clint Eastwood wooed ladies all over the globe in his iconic Western films. He was born on May 31, 1930, making him 89 years old today. Although Eastwood struggled initially as an actor, his big break came after scoring the part of Rowdy Yates in the Western television series Rawhide in 1958. Then, in 1963, Eastwood got lucky when his Rawhide co-star turned down an offer to star in the film A Fistful of Dollars. Eastwood was suggested for the part because he could play a convincing cowboy. He portrayed the character The Man With No Name in all three of the Dollars movies. The first film marked an important advancement in the making of spaghetti westerns, in which the story wouldn't have a stereotypical traditional western hero. It would have an anti-hero instead. This means that the character is missing typical heroic qualities and doesn't always perform righteous acts for the morally correct reasons. After decades of acting in successful films, Eastwood hasn't given up yet. In 2018, he played Earl Stone in The Mule, which he also directed. He is currently working on another movie titled The Ballad of Richard Jewell. Number 2. Christopher Plummer Another actor who's still working is Christopher Plummer. He was born on December 13, 1929 in Toronto, Canada, making him 90 years old. Perhaps this star is most well-known for portraying Captain Von Trapp in the 1965 musical The Sound of Music. 
Unfortunately, he didn't enjoy making the movie as much as most people enjoy watching it. He hated filming The Sound of Music, and the only part he liked was working with Julie Andrews. After years of dissing the popular film, he eventually admitted that he was proud to be associated with such a massively adored movie. Plummer acted in numerous other films throughout his career, including A Beautiful Mind, The Insider, and Beginners. Plus, he's still going at it today with movies like The Last Full Measure and Cliffs of Freedom. Number 1. Ed Asner This actor's full name is Yitzhak Edward Asner. He was born on November 15, 1929 and is 90 years old. This star didn't start in the Hollywood scene. Asner was born in Kansas City, Missouri and spent his childhood in Kansas City, Kansas. He ended up attending the University of Chicago and worked on the General Motors assembly line. Asner is primarily known for playing Lou Grant in the television series The Mary Tyler Moore Show. But he's also done a significant amount of voice acting throughout his career in various projects, including Master Rook Lamar in the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic video game. Carl Fredrickson in the animated movie Up, and Ed Wunkler in the TV series The Boondocks. And Asner is still going at it. He does various voices in American Dad and has been focused on several other ventures, including 2016's Citizens United and other upcoming films. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.